One of the things we're going to be talking about this week is the apparent fresh food shortage that's going to hit Europe and the UK um, over the next few weeks and months. Um, this has been completely orchestrated and it's absolutely terrible that this is likely to be happening right now. There is plenty of fresh food being grown at the moment all over Europe. We have no shortages. Farmers have no shortages. Despite the weather changes that we've been having recently, um, there is an awful lot of fresh produce in the fields at the moment, as you can see behind me. This is purposely going to be bought in bulk and destroyed to create an apparent food shortage. Folks, start listening, wake up. There is no food shortage. We have farmers coming out and saying exactly what's going on there, and that is the government agencies are buying up the food and letting them rot in the warehouses creating food shortages all over Europe right now. We already know that it's being done here also in the US. Bill Gates has bought uh, a mass, he's the largest farm owner in the United States. He's going to let that food rot. Um, people, we are looking at future food shortages. The only way we can stop all this is for everybody to stop obeying a tyrannical government and for us to stand up. This is the container that was in the video yesterday, and we have unloaded the container. Freight is setting at ports. It is not moving, and we're talking ports around the world. Now, the freight that was on this container was shipped 37 days ago. This is that freight behind me. Somebody is intentionally hindering freight from moving back and forth. There are ports that are stacked. The directive is let it set, let it set. I reached out to my largest customer, this customer, and that's what I was told, that the directive is let it set. We are definitely going to experience shortages, the likes of which you have never seen. So me and my coworker got talking today and something came up that I didn't really think about when my dad mentioned it to me. He's worked in the agriculture industry for over 40 years. This year, farmers are being offered 1.5 times the value of their crops to destroy them. They're also being told by the federal government they will not receive subsidies for farming if they refuse to destroy their crops. What does that mean? That means that the farmer cannot afford to provide you with food based upon the taxes the government is levying on him if the government doesn't in turn give him back his tax money to provide you with food. Kind of a fucked up system, but that's how it works. And, well, they're not going to subsidize them if they don't destroy the crops. They'll pay them more than what it's worth, and they want them to destroy it, and they'll still get their subsidies. They're trying to create a food shortage. We've got eight months to get our own food supply. We're, we're probably going to be facing mass starvation. Good luck. Every farmer I know has received a letter in the last 30 days from the Department of Agriculture offering them $3,800 an acre to dispose of their crops. If they do not, they lose 35 cents per pound when they bring in harvest. This is only a 117 acre crop. It will be sold, it won't be disposed of. But they're trying to control the supply chain, ladies and gentlemen. We can't allow that to happen. If you control the food supply, you control the world. Be prepared, ladies and gentlemen, just like I've been telling you. Shortages are coming. Stock up. Be aware. Don't get caught with your pants down. Because I promise you, it's coming. The reality of food shortages, what is being set up in Europe, is the same what they've done in Africa and the same what they've done in Asia. The situation is they're deliberately destroying food in uh, transportation and warehouses. The situation is the food is ready, the, they have bought the uh, food from the farmers, is rotting in the warehouses and in the trucks. And the cover story they are selling the world is that there is shortage of drivers and secondly for the labor. That is complete bullshit. The, the idea is simple. They want to starve you to death. And I want to make this clear to everybody. If you let them lock you down again, 
they're gonna use the same propaganda they used in Africa and the same they used in Asia. They rot and destroy all the food crops and what you're gonna see is mass shortages of food in your warehouses and you would be locked down. So if you let them lock you down, you will starve to death.